Oh, welcome everyone, welcome back to another wonderful day here on Strife Farm down in Stardew Valley. Let's check living off the land right off the bat, eh? Uh, welcome back to living off the land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. I know it's hard, but stop worrying so much about your horse. You can leave them anywhere and they'll make their way back home. They're very smart and independent animals. I need to do that. I need to actually get myself a flipping horse. <laughs> um, weather report. Uh, it's gonna be sunny and beautiful all day tomorrow. Fortune teller says that the spirits are somewhat annoyed today. It seems like they've had that stick up their butt the whole time here. Um, looks like I've got everything in- well, actually, let's ch check the social, because that's what we're focusing on right now. Um, and for that matter, I might wanna- what's it gonna take? Hmm. Uh, well, anyway, uh, we need a bean hot pot. So let's make a bean hot pot, let's make some fried mushrooms, let's also make some pancakes and some spaghetti. I think that, I think that, ah crap, I made spaghetti whenever I shouldn't have. Robin is like maxed out, I forgot about that. Um, George, Willie still needs something this week, which means that I'm going to be giving him some more mayo, because <laughs> Willie loves mayo for some, some reason I don't have an answer for. Harvey needs stuff. Linus. I need to focus on the freaking bachelors in this town. Ooh, let's go ahead and grab some uh, sashimi for Pierre. I'm certain I'll be seeing him one way or another. Uh, I can also carry a dish of the sea with me because I got so much of this stuff. And for that matter, uh, we need a flower for Evelyn. Frozen tear for Sebastian. Corn for Alex. Okay, so corn. And we need frozen tear. Let's see, frozen... Here for Sebastian, and uh, what's his name? Elliot enjoys um, Elliot enjoys mayo as well. So I'll go ahead and grab another jar of mayo. I need to remember to consistently make more mayo, which I've I think I've been a pretty good I've, I think I've been pretty good about it. Sam requires a uh, a Joja Cola at least, um, but he does like maple bars. Actually, come to think of it. I've got a bunch of maple syrup here. What does it take to make a maple bar? There we go, maple bar. Sugar, wheat. We'll just make one for now. There's no need to uh, overdo it. And since we got the maple bar, we'll go ahead and stash the Joji Cola as well. But wait a minute, what did it take? One maple syrup, one sugar, and one wheat. Huh. Okay then, well. And social. Uh, I don't have anything with Elliot. Uh, I, I mean, I'm wondering if I'm going to be able to get his, uh, relationship status up at all. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a Spangle and, uh, give that to Caroline. And we'll also grab a Tulip for, um, uh, what, what's her name? Uh, <laughs> uh, Evelyn. So, um... And last but not least, we'll go ahead and grab a horseradish for uh, Krobus. Ooh, check it out. We got mail today. Dear valued customer, thank you for visiting Pierre's... Uh, thank you for visiting Pierre's. The enclosed is your cashback rewards program rebate. See you soon. Pierre, P.S. Sorry for the stock message. William, enjoy. 460 gold enclosed. I am not complaining about that. Let's see, what do we have here? Dear Farmer William, I'd like to give my wife a star fruit for our anniversary. Are you growing any on your farm? If you brought if you brought me one, I'd be very grateful. That's a really hefty uh, request to be making there, Kent. Uh, star fruit are desperately expensive. Now, granted, now that um, now that I have, or at least I should have the uh, aha. Yes, I do. I have the greenhouse complete. Soldier's delivery. Um, I have the greenhouse complete. This means that I can plant and grow anything from summer, uh, from spring, summer, and fall up in there. So. Oh. It's an event with Alex. That's a good dog, Dusty. You might be the only one around here who understands me. No one else has seen the kind of stuff you and I have. There I am, always creeping in the bushes. 
William, did you overhear me talking? <laughs> uh, not really. Why? Oh, I was talking to Dusty. He and I have a lot in common, actually. I don't usually like to talk about it, but we've been friends for a while now, and I think I can trust you. I met him last week. <laughs> have you ever wondered why I live with my grandparents? My father wasn't a good guy. He... Well, he ruined everything for me and my mom. Half the time he was gone, the other half he'd drink all night and tell me I'm worthless, that I'd never amount to anything. I think he resented me for being young, bitter because he'd wasted his youth doing nothing and have got and gotten nowhere in life. Well, that's my take on it anyway. Who knows what was going on on it, what what was going on on in his mind? One day he left. And soon after that, Mom got sick and passed away. I had no choice but to move in with my grandparents. You know what? There's no sense dwelling on this stuff. I don't want any sympathy from anyone. You have to look to the positive side of things. My childhood wasn't great, but it did make me strong. I had to be. Here. Let me show you what Dusty will do for you, will do for a barbecued steak. <laughs> Look at him slobbering. Think he might like a steak as much as I do? <laughs> well my, that was not, that was not something that I expected to see. It's quite a story. He's got a real, uh... He's got some real baggage there, Alex. Uh, I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. Ooh! Oh, hey, the boulder was removed! I forgot about this! Hey, Willie. Grr, William. It's odd. I'm not sure what caused this boulder to disappear. This stream is flowing from deep within the mountain. Hey, did you see that glistening in the water? Yes, that's quality ore. The flow of water must be carrying it out of the mountain. You know what that means, right? It means we can start panning for ore. Here, I've got an extra pan in my backpack. Why don't you take it? If you ever see ore glittering in the water, just use the pan and see what you find. Haha, I can pan for ore. You received a copper pan. Oh! Oh, hey! Wah! Uh-oh. Hey! What do you think you're doing? That's private property! Sam! Uh. Er, I... I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> ah, youth these days. Sometimes I wonder how this town isn't doomed. Oh, dear. You saw what happened, William. What do you have to say about this? Don't blame Sam, there's nowhere else for him to ride. Exactly, if there was a park in town, I could ride there and everyone would be happy. Hmm, I thought you were more mature than this, William. <laughs> Sam, I'm sorry I yelled at you. Just remember, you try not to damage anything in the future, got it? Oi, oi, I just bailed you out. Yes, sir. Damn straight, Sam. Equal responsibility on this, thank you. Did you see that trick, though? It was rad! 
Nothing wrong with having fun, Sam, but, uh, with all... With all proper respect to how rad it is... Just grow up a little. Be, 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 be a slight bit more responsible. <laughs> Ooh! Oh, hey, it's Maru! Oh, the nurse's outfit. <sighs> I'm so sick of preparing these samples. Ah! Oh, no! Uh-oh. The whole sample is ruined. Harvey's gonna kill me! Will, what should I do? Tell Harvey it was an accident. You're right, I should just tell him the truth. What happened here? I heard something break. I accidentally dropped one of the samples. I'm so sorry. Ah, thanks for telling me the truth, Maru. Don't worry about the sample, we'll just get another one. Thanks for being patient with me, Dr. Harvey. Ah, of course. You've been a big help around here. I don't know what I'd do without you. William, you look a little pale. Are you feeling okay? Oh my. Here to see the doctor? Sort of. Hey, Will, you're looking sharp today. Am I? Where is Harvey? Hey, Harvey. Hmm, now, just hold still. Take a deep breath for me. Well, here, Harvey, I got this for you. Super happy about that. Ah, I didn't grab a gift for Alex. How could I be so stupid? Where is Alex? Alex is down there. It's gonna be hard to uh, charm Alex whenever I can't give him proper uh, gifts that, you know, he really, really does enjoy, so... There you are! Thank God I found him! Hey, Sam! Hey, Sam! I saw a spider on my ceiling last night. They sure are, they sure like the warmth. I hope he didn't crawl into my mouth while I was asleep. <laughs> That's horrifying! <laughs> okay, um... Sam, I've got you a pizza. You remembered my birthday. Thank you. This is great. Indeed it is. Indeed it is. How's my relationship with Sam now? Haha! -ha! Maxed him out. I don't have to worry about Sam no more. This is great. All right, now I can focus on uh, the remaining bachelors, giving Harvey his pickles, giving uh, Alex corn, of all things, <laughs> um, giving Sebastian tears. And there's, uh, I think... I might just, I might just have enough time to hurry my butt. Oh my god, hey. It's Elliot. Hey, Elliot. How you doing? Huh, must be satisfying to follow your crop from seed to harvest. It's as if your essence is infused into the fruit. Uh, that's one way to look at it. Here. Oh, this is for me. Marvelous. <laughs> Alright, so I didn't expect to find, um, Elliot there, but I think I have in just enough time to hurry my butt up to, um, uh, Robin and Demetrius' place to, uh, you know, flag down, uh, Sebastian and give him the frozen tear that I got. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. Sebastian? All right. Well, if Sebastian's not home right now, I can hang out. I can literally hang out and wait for him. Because, what else do I have to do? Ugh, screw this. Oh? What's this? Huh. Look at this. William, I'm surprised to see you here so late. Hey, Maru. The night sky's looking amazing right now. Come over here, I want to show you something. Here, take a peek. What do you see? A beautiful planet. It's amazing, isn't it? 
By the time any of these stars are visited, you and I will be long gone. I guess that's the trouble with being human, huh? William, uh... Never mind. Here, let me show you a binary star system. <laughs> that was really cute. A little bit disappointing that um, the events aren't designed to work in the I, uh, the actual window that the game runs in, but what can you do? What a beautiful night. Maru showed you something new. Didn't expect that to come to pass. Hey, Maru. It's hard to really grasp the scale of the universe. It's hard to really... Oh, okay, you say it twice over. Um, I don't suppose... Seba oh my god, Sebastian is outside. What's the point of going outside? I've already seen it all. <laughs> you think very differently from your sister. I really love this. How'd you know? Because you're... So I mean, if you looked into Maru's telescope, you would have said the cold, dark abyss, Sebastian. Yeah, you're so... You're predictable. And desperately easy to read. <laughs> anyway. Back to the farm. What's this? Hi, William. Guess what? My band is playing a show tonight in Zuzu City. Meet me at the bus stop around 4 p.m. this afternoon to leave for the show. You better be there. Uh, why do I have to be there, Sam? What? Okay, so I've got a I've got an appointment with Sam at 4 p.m. today. Um, it's a good thing I don't really have any significant plans. Um, I better get to watering everything. Ooh. What's going on? Walk into the general store for some seeds and... Oh, no way. I've heard about this. Found Pierre's secret stash. <laughs> hey, who's in the bedroom? What are you doing, William? What? Are, why am I snooping? <laughs> How did you find that? Quick, give it to me. Promise me you won't tell anyone about this. Your secret is safe with me. Thanks. I appreciate that. Just forget you ever saw this, okay? And I'll forget that you were snooping around in my bedroom. Oh, I know I have to find a new hiding spot. <laughs> I am not a very good friend. Snooping through his stuff like that. Oh my god. Um, okay, so it takes 12 days for this to turn over. Um... Ooh! What do you know? It's another event with Harvey. Ah, William, I was just about to write you a letter. Really? Now, uh, you see, my records indicate that you're due for your annual checkup. Uh oh. Now, now, there's no need to worry. I'll be quick, it'll be quick and painless. Please follow me. <laughs> a damn exam room, I hate them. Hmm, okay, hold still, please. Say ah. Uh. Okay, you can stop. <laughs> I just need to check your vitals. Hmm, your pulse is high. Uh, I'm out of breath from working on the farm. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> well then, you seem healthy, William. Just make sure not to overwork yourself on that farm. <laughs> Thanks for stopping in. <laughs> well, that was simple and easy. Do you have an appointment? No, I'm just here to uh, chat with Harvey. Oh, there he is, back in the exam room. Harvey! Hey, Harvey, how you doing? Nah, exercise is important, but don't get too exhausted, or you might end up in my clinic. Make sure to listen to your body. Uh, I do just that, often enough. Here, 
Nah, for me, it's like you read my mind. And, uh, Harvey... I don't suppose he's Max... He is! What do you know? Hey, I maxed out Harvey's disposition with me. Now all I gotta do is focus on, um... Uh, Alex and Sam and Sebastian. Sebastian is, uh, a slow pace. Uh, Alex is a slower pace. Elliot is a crawl's pace. <sighs> Crying out loud. Okay, well, in any case, um, I gotta hop out and do some other stuff. Alright, hey! The event with Shane is ready to go. Hey, William, thanks for coming! Well, our gear's loaded already. Looks like everything's set. Alright, everyone, let's get in the bus! Hmm. Huh, oh, I'm starting to get really nervous. <laughs> okay, here we are. Wish me luck. <laughs> Abby on the drums. I, I thought she only played the frickin'... I thought she only played... Flute. Okay, whatever. Uh, hi everyone, we're from Pelican Town, uh, and we're called Xenochip 3.0. Here we go! <laughs> well, this is nifty. I like this girl right here. Who's got like the the headband and stuff? Leah's dancing with uh, Elliot. Oh look, he's got the fingers up and he's headbanging. <laughs> Mohawk dude over here. It's not too bad. The trash all over the place, though. Bleh. I do like the music, though. It was pretty, pretty nifty. Wow, those electronic sounds were so far out. <laughs> Emily, nice work, guys. Uh, I really enjoyed that bass part. Or bass bass. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. But you should really be clapping for William. Without his help, we'd never have decided what kind of music to make in the first place. So you're like an honorary member of the band, then. <laughs> I guess. Oh, and don't forget to pick up one of our demo cassettes on the way out. Only ten gold. Cassettes? What is this, the 90s? <laughs> oh, that went well. Thanks again for coming with us. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. This has been another episode of Stardew Valley with me, William Strife, and I hope that you guys are enjoying watching me play this game as much as I am playing it my uh, as much as I am enjoying playing it myself. But until next time, I will see you all in the next episode. Bye.